burnout, the number one problem for high performing golfers everywhere. Whether you're a high performing golfer that loves to train, loves to compete, loves to play serious golf, or maybe you're a parent of a child who loves to compete, loves to train, loves to play in events, tournaments, wants to be the best in the world. You know, that question always comes into our mind like, I don't wanna burn out. I don't wanna burn my kids out, right? You, maybe you know those golfers that you grew up playing with or you hear the stories of really, really talented and successful golfers that no longer play the game, that they're not even interested in playing the game, right? Truth is if you're a high performing golfer and love whether it's you or your kids, whether you love to play golf, you've probably had, you know, moments of your golf career where you have been burned out. You know, I can tell you I have, right? We all have if you're a high performing golfer. But what happens is we're just we just continue to play the game. Right? And so think about your golf or your child's golf. Are there times where you say, like, man, I just had enough? Right? I'm I'm getting stressed out. I feel like I, I don't have time to practice or there's not enough time to practice and we're putting all this heavy load and we feel like we just need a break. Man, I just finished the summer season, I, I just finished the spring season, whatever season you might be in, it's like, man, I, I gotta take some time off and you know, get myself back where I get motivated and, and energized again and, and I need these times off. That's a form of burning out. And I can tell you if that happens over and over and over again, you will be just like everybody else and you will not be playing the game, right? And so when we look at burnout, the number one cause of burning out is there's no drive, there's no passion, and there's no connection into the time that we're spending. And so I'm gonna give you a couple things here, two things here that will help you align yourself with never burning out, never having your kids burn out and the first is going to be you know having very very powerful conversations open conversations honest conversations raw conversations with either yourself or your child or your coach right having conversations that just address where are you currently how do you feel and where do you want to go you see the truth is when we, when we are blind to where we're currently at and we make it better than what we think it is, or sometimes we make it worse than we think it is, and we're not clear on the destination that we're gonna go, we don't know that we're moving. And what happens is we start investing time and more time and more time, and we just don't know if we're getting any closer. We're hoping to get closer. And we're saying the next swing drill, the next lesson I'm gonna get with my instructor and my coach, maybe the next round, I'm gonna go practice more this week and then it'll fix it, right? That leaves you in a space of guessing, right? Be real, be raw, be honest with yourself, be honest with your kids and see yourself and, and your, your golf game where it's at because that's the only place that you can then move forward and get super clear on where the destination is. If, Right? If you don't know if you're getting better or worse or not moving at all, every single time you touch your golf club, every single moment, every single day, right, you're at high risk of burning out. Right? It's gotta be that strategic where you can hit five golf, you can hit one golf ball and you would know, did I get better? Did I not get better or did I get worse? Right? It's, it's bringing the value that deep. If you're connected and you're so connected into the strategy, the map on how you're going to get from where you're at to where you want to go, then you got to know every single day that you pick up your golf club, whether you're getting there or not, whether you're moving closer, whether you're moving further, right? If the question in your head is like, man, I'm going to go practice. I just practice for an hour. I practice all day. Yeah, that should get me better because I'm investing my time. If you don't know exactly how much closer that got you or how much further that get, got you, then you're gonna burn out. You see, it's not the fact that we're getting closer or we're getting worse that burns us out. It's the fact that we don't know if we're getting closer and we start investing more time, hoping we'll get closer. If you invested more time and you saw yourself getting further, that would not burn you out because then you would be so clear on finding a way to change the direction and change the course before you even get overwhelmed. 
And so point number one is have, be honest, raw, real, and have these conversations with yourself, your coach, your children about where they are and where it is that they want to get to so you know every single day, every single moment, whether you're getting closer or further. And that will save you from burning out. Number two, in not getting burned out, second thing that you need in not burning out is you need to be having strategic resets. If you ever have a moment where you feel like, man, I, I gotta, I gotta take this week off. I need tomorrow off. What that tells you is you haven't prepared yourself to reset. And what strategic resets are, they are strategically placing times for you to reset your body, your energy, your mind, and get yourself doing something. Right? We can't run hard every single day. It's just not sustainable. Right? And where do we do strategic resets? We do them everywhere. Right? At the end of your season, if you do not have a reset plan at the end of your season, then you're waiting for yourself to get exhausted before you get that reset in. If you're not giving yourself resets every single week, then it's gonna compound, it's gonna add up, and it's gonna put more stress in the season, in the year, to make you want to take these long breaks and you'll just tune out. If you're not having resets every single day, then you won't be able to sustain the week, the month, the season, or the year. So these resets gotta be so strategic that you have to understand what your body needs, what your mind needs, physically, mentally, right? When you need a break from golf to give yourself some other unique drives, other thing you're passionate about, I can tell you that, you know, it's not 24 seven that you should be focusing and that you need to be focusing on golf if you wanna be the best in the world because it's just not sustainable. And so start to think about how often and when do I need to have these resets, whether it's, you know, an hour a day, two hours a day, whether it's, you know, once a week, whether it's three days at the end of each month, whatever that is, keep that in the schedule and have that plan. So, you know, you never feel the need to like, oh man, I really got to take this reset. I really need some time off because Whenever you get to that point, you'll always find yourself working extra hard to come back in because those times that you take off are way too long than what is necessary and required for you to keep the momentum in progress. You see when, if you ever watch race car driving, NASCAR, or any kind of race, you notice that every car takes a pit stop. None of those cars need the pit stop but they take them and they take them in advance because they gotta make sure that car can, can go the entire duration of the race because they're going hard and they're not taking it when, when the car breaks down, they are strategically placing those pit stops so they can run the fastest and the hardest and have the least amount of stress on their in their vehicle to take them to the finish line first right and so think of yourself like a race car right you want to perform at the highest level you got to have these strategic resets in there right one thing that i want to share with you here is if you're reset like high performance study shows that if you're doing something, you should be resetting every single hour. So if you're one of those players that are playing every single day and practicing for hours on end, if you're not having a reset every single hour, every 50 minutes, you should have some kind of reset, whether it's a five minute reset. And you know, resets doesn't mean I'm just gonna go sit down and, and eat lunch and go take my break. Reset means like you are actually resetting and, and getting your body to you know, re-energize, refocus, right? And get yourself back to peak state, right? Taking your lunch break, going sitting down on your phone, that is not a reset. Listening to music is not your reset, right? Resets are gonna be something like meditation. It's gonna be something like breathing. It's gonna be something like moving your body to get blood flowing again, right? Doing those things that actually bring performance back to your body, all right? So every hour, if you are one of those high-performing golfers that are not if you can go one two three hours on end 
I promise you, you will get burnt out. So the most simplest thing that you can start doing immediately is start to add in one reset every hour that you're practicing. When the 50 minute mark hits, take your reset for five minutes, 10 minutes to the hour and start the block again or start your new block. Do that and you will find your progress accelerate beyond belief. So two things from burning out, again, when you're high performing, you're still playing, you're probably burning out already, but you're still playing the game. You're finding those times that, you know, you get exhausted and you feel like you need a break. So number one, have those powerful conversations, right? With yourself, your coach, your children, where you at, where you want to go, know if you are going forward or back, because when there's no connection to the end, and you don't know if you're moving, you will 100% get burned out no matter how good you're getting because you are not sure if you're getting closer to the end. And number two, having those strategic resets, right? Whether it's every day, every hour, every week, you gotta put those in. The simplest one that I gave you guys today is every single hour you need a five to 10 minute reset. So set that timer, 50 minutes when you start practicing, once that thing goes off, give yourself a reset, strategic reset. And again, those strategic resets are not just sitting down, having lunch, talking with your buddies, jumping on a phone call, listening to music. It is actually doing something to reset your body, right? It might be a short exercise, a walk, clear your mind, meditation, breathing, get blood flowing in your body again, get yourself re-energized, re-motivated, visualization, get you something to get you back to peak performance on that next block of hour. Do that and you'll find yourself accelerating performance more than you've ever done before.